All right, so today uh, we are watching, highly requested one, Beyond Scared Straight, which, uh, contrary to my old beliefs, isn't about conversion therapy. Jasmine meets her mom in jail. Oh, go on, Jasmine. I have bad temper. And Jasmine, I like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> when you've had so much cat that you've you've completely lost your human form and you're just a baggie. I love marijuana weed because it's more relaxing. Yes, yeah. Jasmine, what? my thriller. One of us. One of us. Uh, I found this in Jasmine's room. Bomb. Tell me it's a bomb. Um, it was <laughs> stripping full of kiss. Trippy kid. That's like a Twitter app. It sounds like a fucking SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, it does. Trippy kit. Well, yeah, trippy red, trippy kit, trippy um, tripping balls. You could be, you could be trippy balls. I snorted pills like Xanax, Oxycon, Percocets. You know, that sounds like a future verse. Mm. <laughs> mm, yes, um, yes, okay. <laughs> How many future songs could you name? Hands off the keyboard. Interesting. Uh, interesting. You asked that. No, no, hands off, hands off, hands off. Come on. Hey, hey, seriously. Uh. <laughs> Name a future song, you ask? He did one with Drake earlier in the year about, uh, I haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Oh, what's that called? Oh, you're asking the wrong person, man. This one's quite a, quite a COVID related one about having take- Mask on, get mask off. Yeah? Yeah, off, off, off. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone, man, all right? Everyone has their own tastes. Maybe I do like listening to Defying Gravity uh, by the original cast of Wicked. Is that a problem? No, 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 not at all. In a way, Futures defied gravity by being the jump man. Put it on the back of this so I know nothing else dirty is going on. Wait, is that coke? Nose. I can't show that on the second channel. What was that powder? <laughs> You'd know. Uh, the, the thing is, uh, <laughs> I hate it when these TV shows, right, they have like these really old producers, old cameramen, and they're like, right, let's film this 14 year old literally crumb up some crack in front of us and just not stop her. I put it on the back of this so I know nothing else dirty is going up my nose. That's outrageous, you're just right. Like, they just stood there and going, yeah, do it yeah, again, yeah, do it yeah. again. Go on, good shot this. Probably not the right hand gesture to be doing. <laughs> well, they're filming. They're filming. That, that's your lens. <laughs> no, the, that's, the, that's your zoom and that's your focus. Stand up. My name's Nicole, Jasmine's my daughter, and I'll do anything to make sure that she doesn't end up in jail like me. This is heavy. Well, you can't really do that being in jail yourself, can you? I was here before for a felony, and now I'm back on a driving on a suspended charge. It's, okay, that, that fucking upsets me. That angers me. How you're calling out your own daughter, right? If she hasn't gone to fucking jail yet. Yeah, she's doing hard drugs, and that should probably stop, by the way. But you've literally, driven when you shouldn't be driving and you've put yourself in jail and so you can't care for your own f***ing daughter and now you're like oh yeah i'm gonna oh, someone's gonna show up how it's done show her out of jail I, I totally agree i i will give you a parenting manual as someone who has no children i don't have children promise all of y'all are gonna end up in here if y'all don't straighten up and especially you and i know that firsthand and as hard it is for me to sit here and see you in them damn handcuffs think how hard to go home tonight and me not be there. That's traumatic. This is heavy, isn't it? Great telly. This is what we need, man. More Americans, more Americans. This is traumatic for, for that girl. That's, this is traumatic. James, she bangs fucking coke on just on her bedroom table. But this is like a, this is like abusive. This is like literally abusive. Like taking out your own fucking problems on your daughter like that. She's got the same Good problem, she's trying to pattern her up. Okay, yeah, all right. You know how I am on the street. You live with me on a day-to-day -day basis. You see the respect that I get on the street. You think I get that in here? Started running around, having sex early. Had her and her brother by the time I was 14 years old. Boo, that's why I should deserve to be in jail. When she was 14 years old, she had her daughter. The US is so far removed from us in this sense. Nah, we've got crackheads banging coke and having kids up. Yeah, but do you know of anyone with a story like that? I don't. Well, not from your background of course you don't well yeah of course not. me running the streets of the northeast you know you... <laughs> do you know how much respect i get on the streets the past four years i've been locked up three times jasmine is it worth it well tell that to yourself then like if you will just oh my god this is hurting my brain why are you taking this out on her this is your fault you are you are a person this isn't really one of them ones where we go oh ha, ha take the piss out of people we're just get we're getting too emotionally involved in this whoever suggested this part of me understands the moral 
like validity of saying I had to rob to feed my kids. Driving charges. What? Where you're driving and you can't drive and you get put away for six months. Bro, that's dumb. Shooter. Yeah. Death penalty. What? That's not what I said. Get off me. Don't do this, man. Or what? Don't do it. Or what? Don't do it. Or what? What you gonna do? If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it all the way. Come on. Give me one sec. My food's here. Just gonna, just gonna buzz it in, Will. Is that all right? Don't leave this in, Mikey. I'd, I'd rather not. I'm, d I'm just getting my scran. I'll, uh, your channel is important to me, Will. And he's the only one we've fucking let on. Yeah, the other two delinquents. Yeah. Oh, why haven't you let us on? Right. Think of it. This is the best of the bunch. I promise. I am really grateful for this opportunity, Will. Yep. Mm, uh -huh. uh, it's it is something that really matters to me, and I may have ordered food, but I I just want to remind you that I'm very grateful for this. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Go get your food. It's cool. I'm not on my phone or anything. You know, like I I have been in previous Honestly, recording. Just get your food. All totally fine. All right. Honestly. What are you saying? What are you saying? What? What are you say what did you say? Sorry, man, I think the line's going dodgy here. Yeah. Is it? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Right. Anyway, so that's what I was saying. That's why he's got no fucking subscribers. I have it on speaker! <laughs> you won't be a man! Take it off on something! Look what kind of a sissy she's going to wait, be. What? Watch this. Oh, wait, what? We're not watching like an actual clip. No. <laughs> I think I can't touch you, I'll break your neck, boy. They call me Lil J. Kids are coming here. Who's that tattoo on his neck? I think it's Marilyn Monroe, right? Uh, either that or Gwen Stefani, I can't quite tell. Say, hurry up and get on the ground and get my push up. Hurry up, let's go. You don't mind me. Let's go, hurry up, push up. I mean, this isn't very intimidating. <laughs> no. It's just like, oh, do a little gym workout. It's just like having a personal trainer, isn't it? <laughs> He's even doing the push up with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad a punishment. Answer you know, him. I got a 12 year old daughter. You know what I do to her when she act bad? I put her over my knee and I bring the boogeyman out. Put the boogeyman? Well, that's a weird name for your penis. <laughs> Stop it. I would not f with that man. He looks like someone you'd make in GTA 5. Come on, get over here. That's oh, me. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> Is she the one that want to be the little crip? It's the crip right here. Why do they keep shouting you don't want to be a crip at the little 12 year old? You do want to be a crip. 70% of kids want to be YouTubers and the other 30% want to be crips. You think I ain't banging the game? No. I take a shower. Hey, what drugs has she been doing? Wait, it says she's doing drugs? Yeah. King Carl Oh my God, she's 12. In what world? Sorry, that was just reminded me of that fucking my most viewed video. <laughs> You can change your life. You just gotta do the right thing. You can control your anger. Because anger brings on violence and then someone gets hurt. I quite like these people. They seem to be saying the right things. Like, yeah, I quite rate that. I also that. don't kind of believe that they're not just paid actors. Hmm, true. I'm Seth, I'm 14, and I'm an unruly child. Wait, no, no, you're not. In what world is he an unruly kid? Specky little dork? He's not, he's, what's dangerous about him? Probably his smell by the looks of <laughs> Well, why is your heart pounding like a little girl? I can't kill me. I can't kill me. It makes no sense. It's him. Anybody can kill you. You can slip and fall on a banana peel. You can get in a car wreck. You can fall off a bridge. You can have an aneurysm on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is a really um funny moment. Is this legal? I mean, not here, probably. Only if it's in the name of good telly. What you got your mama do? <laughs> Ask me what you mama I'm going to be your mama when you come in here, boy. What? He went, I'ma be your mama when you come in here, boy. Oh, I thought he said, I'ma beat your mama. Like, as in, well, I'll show you how to do it properly. Oh my God, Jesus. Here, hold this. It's Kool-Aid. We put this on just like you. Lick your lips. <laughs> now stick your hand in there, Kool-Aid. Just stick it in there. Now take your finger, just do this to the bottom one. Come here. Now I kiss you. <laughs> what the f***? Will, why have you made me watch this? This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is this is you to everyone who comes on S2W. <laughs> what do you mean? Ruthless dictator. This is a way of life. You don't want to do your room. You don't want to do housework. Oh, you don't want to do your room. And... <laughs> uh, I always find kids crying really funny. I don't know why. It's always like. 
You know, like that bit where kids like are halfway in between crying and not crying, and they just start. They go like, "You like that, yeah?" Eh. You know, like that. Like, eh. funny, stupid dickheads. I will not want to be Alcohol. in jail because Alcohol. No, no, no. You're forgetting the biggest crime of them all. Will <laughs> disrespects mom. Send him down. <laughs> jail is a bad place to be in because it kind of smells funny. <laughs> right. That's it. That's the reason. Jail bad. <laughs> If that's all he's came out of that show going, well, the only reason I don't want to go to jail is because it smells pretty bad. I don't think they've done a very good job. That's what stopped me from going into the M&M store in Leicester Square all these years. Because I went in the first time, I was like, God, that fucking stinks. And now I just don't oh, go in The general there. public. Fuck. No, no, the M&M store. They have like an M they have like a false M&M smell and it just fucking reeks in there. It's Why do they need to put a false M&M smell? in there when they've got loads of real m and But they don't smell. Like, the chocolate doesn't have a smell. Right. So what, do, what does it smell like? Like cancer. It smells so sweet. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, can I not call things like cancer? <laughs> you can, you can, you can tell I've stopped caring about what I say, can't you? Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> it smells like cancer. You're university educated. You like to fight, homie? That's what you like, like to do, huh? You little bitch. Use a bitch, homie. Use a Pop-Tart. Use a bitch. Use a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Your eyes glossy. Your eyes glossy, homie. Use a pop tart. You sweet in the middle. Ah, uh, that's so, what he meant. Pop tart. You got the decorations just like the pop tart. What is he on about? You pop tart it out. You think you hard? Think on. Yeah, come on. Come on, Carnell. You come in and give them a hard time in that film. Come on. Fucking pop tart. What the fuck are you on a pop tart? You're in here for murder, lad. What are you talking about? <laughs> pop tart. You a little twinkie. Actually, you can't say that, can you? That's that is a <laughs> insult. <laughs> My name is Ethan and I'm 13 and I got in trouble for throwing books at teachers, disrespecting teachers. That is the biggest crime in the mall, throwing books at teachers. Pretty, that is pretty mental, mate. Yeah, no, I, actually, I, never, I don't even have a friend who's done that. We used to have a, a teacher that had a hammer, uh, like a foam hammer, not a real one. And every time you did something wrong, he'd, he'd hit people across the head with a foam hammer. It was just like a little, oh, you've done yeah, something. Yeah, no, you just go to go boop on the head. Why did you smirk at me? He Why says he you... don't know. You can't speak up, can you? Are you smirking you... I see the same person three times. Yeah, it's just duplicated the same I'm time. just, I'm, I'm not wearing my glasses, like a I think. in Minions factory. Yeah. <laughs> Except that everyone's grew. Go ahead, wipe your little eyes. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Bro, this guy brings it down. He, he thinks he's like as hard as the other two. <laughs> I ain't any aneurysm. You might have an aneurysm on the toilet. They want you. They want you. <laughs> it's like the walking dead. <laughs> Who's this dude? Look at, look, he's just smiling. He's loving it. Any of y'all see me on the last show? I did. You did? Was I good? Y'all see me on the last show? Did you enjoy it? People get molested in here. People get beat up in here. Yeah, good, good choice this one was. These are the funniest moments, Will. Like, these aren't funny moments. These are the- They asked for it. Funniest moments. This still is cold, ain't it? Guess what? You are officially a dead man walking. <laughs> well, he's not walking, is he? He's, he's lying down on a on a table. Right. I think this isn't getting any better. So it's goodbye and good night from me and uh, Jim tonight. Did you ever watch Bear in the Big, Big Blue House? Yeah, that was a classic. Yeah. What what did he used to say when he said goodbye, good night, everyone? If I remember correctly, it was something like. Uh... See you later, Madrillas, or something like that. I think he was. It was a long. Don't think. Don't think it was quite. Hang on. Let's... Did he just like? Didn't he just like scream a racial slur? At the... Hold on. Goodbye song. Should we sing it? Yeah. Just say goodbye. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll mute my mic. You're but you lighting can... up the sky. Um, Luna, do you have time to sing a goodbye song? Before oh, you go? bro, this is actually hitting me here. Yeah. Sorry, I was wasn't hey, supposed to take this turn, really but fun. we hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye good friends, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. Well, oh, can hit the feelings. Hey, all right, goodbye. goodbye. You've turned off your camera, haven't you? You're not. Yeah, turn mine off. So it's just me now, all right. Maybe you just had me dancing for like 20 seconds at the end of the video, why not? This isn't getting kept in, is it? Um, Probably not, yeah. Okay, alright, I'll stop.